You wish you had a dock like me. What? What? Hey guys, what's going on? It's Minute Up, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get this transparent clear dock down here. It's kind of like a fresh new thing. I just think it looks really clean and nice. I'm going to be showing you guys how to do this in quick, easy steps. So I hope you enjoyed that intro. The music was by Approaching Nirvana. Their link is in the description. You can also buy the song on iTunes down there. So right now I'm going to be showing you guys how to do the magical dock power thing. <laughs> so both the links that you're going to need are going to be in the description. Well, technically you only need this one, but for the ease of interest, I have the Mac update download link because some of you guys don't trust these websites, air quotes, you know, you can't see them, but you know, they're there. So um, this is the developer website. So what Mirage does is it's kind of it just makes it a mirage. You can't even see the dock. It's but it's there. You just can't see it. So um, go ahead and scroll down and download the Mirage, but do not use this one. It doesn't work. I'll prove it to you. Nothing's gonna happen. Yeah, exactly. So go ahead and download the Mirror, or if you don't want to download it from there, you can go to the Mac Update website and download it from there. Either way, do it, download it, good. Notice how my dock is back to normal. This application is really great. It lets you reverse this in the press of a button, literally. Maybe two buttons, but. Anyway, so here's the application that you should have downloaded. So go ahead and open it up. And this is all it is. It's very easy. So this is how you install it. So this is the default when it should be checked. Um, the dock is obviously the dock behind here, and the separator is this right here. If you can see that little separator thing. It just looks kind of weird um, if you install just the dock and leave the separator. I'll show you what it looks like. And there you go. Let's see. It just looks weird. I don't know. So I have to install a separator. Um, indicators is these little blue dots that show you if the application is running. And stacks, which I kind of actually like this. I will just install everything. And go ahead and look. You can't really tell which application is running, which I do not like. I like having the indicators, but the stacks kind of look cool. So if you open up your applications, they're kind of floating, which looks really nice, but I wish there was a way that you could see the application name behind here because I can't see as well what these say. I mean, it just looks so good, but I don't know. I can't really read it, so I'm going to have to restore um, the stacks. So to restore something, just go ahead and click the Restore tab. And here you can choose what items you want to restore. So I don't want to restore the separator and I don't want to restore the dock because I do want those gone. I just restore the indicators and the stacks. So just go ahead and press restore. And the magic is now back. And I don't know if that is a bug, but it does restore everything. So um, the way you kind of have to do it is just go back and install what you want. So we'll just go ahead and install it one more time. And there you go, it's all gone. So that's a lot more complicated than it needs to be, but it's actually really simple if you just go ahead and leave it the default, install, and you're done. So it's basically a two-click process, and then keep this application on you at all times in case you want to revert back to where you were, restore, and you're done. So I hope this helps you out if you want to get a little bit different, and if you want to freak some people out by having a magical dock for all those Apple people that know what Mac looks like all the time. They'll be like, what have you done? You modded your computer. No, I know how to press the button. So, so anyway, thanks for watching this video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, you can leave a rating below. You can check out one of the two videos on screen. On the top, we have the blue Snowball versus the blue Yeti versus the internal mic in the Apple MacBook Pro. Those are some of the two most popular mics. Well, the blue Yeti and the blue Snowball are, so I'm giving you a rundown of which one is best. And the next video is my first episode in my ScreenFlow tutorial series. This is the recording software I use to record 99% of my videos. And this will show you how to record, edit, and upload to YouTube. So I hope you guys enjoy, and I will see you guys next time. You can also subscribe to see when I post a future video. P -p -p Peace out.